It's a moment when every big name in tech jumped on the same bandwagon. Straight off the cliff, early 2010s, James Cameron's avatar blows up in theaters, and suddenly every TV giant, Samsung, Sony, LG, Panasonic, thinks 3D is the next revolution. At CES, 3D TVs are everywhere. The sales pitch, you'll have mind-blowing movie theater experience right in your living room. But the reality, first you had to buy an expensive new 3D TV. Then came the real deal breaker, the glasses. Bulky, pricey, sometimes battery powered, and often brand specific. Hosting friends, hope you got a dozen pairs. Otherwise, it's musical chairs for the 3D TV. And the content, forget it. A few overpriced Blu-rays, a couple of doomed cable channels, and most 3D was just awkward 2D conversions that looked weird and sometimes gave you a headache. At home, the novelty wore off fast. Nobody wanted to wear those goofy looking glasses just to watch TV let alone for a random Tuesday night sitcom. It didn't stop there. Even phone makers caught the fever. Remember the HTC Evo 3D or the LG Thrill? Tech nobody asked for, effects nobody used, and absolutely zero reason to pay extra. If you wanted to see your text in three dimensions, you were on your own. Consumers walked away hard. 3D TV sales flopped, inventory piled up. By 2017, manufacturers quietly dropped the feature altogether. Billions wasted. A whole industry blinded by the hype, and nobody really wanted it in the first place. In the end, 3D TV didn't just get buried, it was lowered into the grave wearing those ridiculous glasses, and even then, the view was still flat.